here is what I'm doing in order to wire up the uh, batteries. Uh, I've got eight of them so far. Um, another eight to be in the process of being made. Um, but I've got these distribution blocks. So you put two red leads into each one. And we have some huge holes for the zero gauge wire. I'm thinking of putting two strands of this because this is rated at 240. But um could handle a peak of 400, but I'm thinking that if I that's why I got more cables so that I could possibly double it up and um just to give it that extra helping hand. Um so that's going to split down all of these cables into the eight batteries, which I'll show you later once I wire it all together. So this is just the initial setup four batteries here you can fit another one down the side so you can fit a maximum of 18 as I had originally measured which is quite good um, so yeah, I've got got a joint got a connection box in there just wired up crudely for now um, connecting straight up to points here so what I've just discovered is this little part where there was two red wires um, it was actually a, one was 12 volts so the charging system that went in here must have had an inverter on it that converted things to 12 so what I've done for now is put a 48 volt to 12 volt converter um, just botched everything together in there um, and uh, just connected that for now just to see what happens so as you can see oh no that's um I've blown fuses everywhere because I realised I was actually putting 48 volts in it um, into the system so maybe I've blown a relay or something because that's flashing really fast or it might just need another fuse replacing somewhere to but uh, it's all working I can turn the blower on without it going pop this time and um, and the lights can turn that on and we have 12 volt system working it goes Not bad. <laughs> Let's see how the voltage is. That's 53.2 Not bad